What's up everybody, John Eric Poli here with my MMA news and today's guest will be fighting Angela Hill at UFC Orlando on December 3rd. Pleased today to be joined by the number 13 ranked strawway contender in the UFC. Pleased today to be joined by Emily Decody. Emily, nice to see you again. Thanks for doing this. Thanks for having me. No problem at all. So before we get into anything about this, pa- or before we get into anything about this fight, I do want to back up to your past fight. It was your UFC debut. You got a major win against a ranked opponent. Get yourself ranked yourself. Uh, just talk about like the emotions of all of that and what that was like for you. you. Know it was a long journey to get to this point to the UFC. Just talk about everything that happened in that moment. Yeah, I felt really, really good um, going into my debut. Everything went smoothly. Um, Six weeks was perfect time for me. So I felt really good going in there. The fight week was a little bit different, just getting used to their, um, you know, how the UFC does their fight week, but everything is obviously very organized as they are. Um, So I had a great fight week. And uh, the only thing that was a little different was how early I fought last time. That was a little bit different, but um, I actually enjoyed it. I'm up early anyways. So fighting at whatever 11 a.m. was was good for me. obviously happy I got the win in, in my debut. That's really important. So um very pleased with that, but I definitely look forward to build off my performance. Uh, I didn't get to do everything that I wanted to in my fight. So I'm excited to kind of keep adding and, and show more of my skill set. And one of the things that you mentioned there too was about the fight week for the UFC. I wanted to ask you a little bit more about that and just what that was like, because obviously you know from fighting in, whether it was Bellator and Victor, whatever promotion you're in, everybody does things differently i know you mentioned it was organized but just what was that whole like fight week process like i know there's a media day involved the weigh-ins you got to get up uh decently early to step on the scale i know it's a few uh, the fight week's a little bit of a difficult process you could say a lot's going on from poster signings and everything else yeah there's a lot going on um but it's spaced out so it's not like you're rushing around fight week so you've got posters pictures um some people have media i didn't luckily you know my first week it was my debut so I didn't really have a whole lot of media. Um, and then uh, weigh-ins went smooth. And then they kind of take you for the media weigh-ins. You go to the wherever you're you know, doing the face-offs. Um, and then fight day. So everything went really, really good. Very organized. No rushing. Um, and I just – now I kind of understand how they do it. So I'm excited for this next time. So last time I was kind of wandering around. Uh, luckily, my manager was there. Very helpful to have him there. Um, So he was kind of showing me the ropes, you know, as far as everything and where everything and who everything is. So uh, that was good to have him there. I'm really glad he came out. So um, it was a smooth, smooth week. So now, right, because as human beings, we are, you could say, creatures of habit. So now that you've gotten to experience a full UFC fight, we experienced the first UFC win. Do you kind of feel like more relaxed in a way coming into this one? Because I know a lot of times, like the first time you do anything, no matter what it is, the first time you do something, you're kind of like anxious. You got to be super early. You know, everything's so rushed and and stressed out. Do you feel more relaxed this time now that you went through everything already? Yeah, I'm, I'm glad because, you know, I saw how everything was, was that week. So I look forward to doing that, you know, having a, a little know what to expect, but my manager Tyson will also be here for my, my next fight week. So he's just really helpful because he knows everybody and everything. And, and kind of like, if I have any questions about, Oh, I don't know what this means, or I don't know where I need to be uh, very helpful to have him. So that is just a big help in itself. But yeah, I definitely feel better um, coming into my second fight week, just knowing how everything is run. Um, and you know, like last time, with the hair and the makeup and the pictures, I had no idea how they did it. So it was just like a little bit like, what do I do? You know, do I show up and is somebody going to do all my hair and makeup or do I do it? And how to pose the pictures and everything. So um, it was a learning experience, but very similar to, you know, other shows. They just do it just a little bit differently. So um, yes, to answer your question, yes, I feel better about this second week. <laughs> All right, so now let's get into the specifics of this fight. Obviously, you're in the middle of training camp right now. It's going to be starting to wrap up pretty soon here. Just how's your camp been going? It's been going really good. Um, we were supposed to go to Florida for one one little trip, and there was some weather over there was when they had that big hurricane. So other than that little hiccup, everything else uh, that we planned has come um, 
and been really smooth. I had a bunch of girls come out and I got some really good training in. So otherwise we're just on our usual uh, training routine and everything's going really well. And you mentioned there, right, about having some girls come in. I wanted to ask you about that because I know from the past of doing interviews, I don't know if we've ever discussed this or not, so I thought now would be a good time to bring it up. Uh, a lot of female fighters would say, if anybody out there isn't familiar with this, uh, we'll talk about it now, how, you know, a lot of times women are training with other guys, but a lot of women will say it's better to bring in other women because it's there's nothing like getting the work with, you know, female on female. Now, now there are benefits to working with the men, but there is nothing that will say like working out with other women. So the fact that you brought these women in, just talk about that a little bit. And is that something that's new for you or do you usually try to bring in some women for your camps? So I have um, a main training partner that I do everything, everything with. And his name is Josh. So he's a guy, he's a 125er. Um, so he's small. He is my like main training partner. He does everything with me. Um, but then we've got some other girls at the gym, um, that are very helpful. So, but it's always a rotation, you know, everyone's got their own life. So things are going on with, with everybody. Um, but Josh is my constant training partner. And then, you know, I've got some girls at the gym that are also very consistent, but this time I brought in, um, Hillary Rose came out, Jessica Delboni came out, and Kendall Hollowell came out. So three girls from three different places, totally different. Um, very, very good. We got a really, really good group in. And so that was some great training. Um, and usually in my fight camps, I'll try to have one outside girl come in. And just to get, you know, it's different when you're training with the same people every day. And then it's different when somebody comes in and it doesn't you don't know what to expect with them and they don't know what to expect with you with all my training partners at the gym. They get tired of my stuff. They block all my stuff. And so it's just a little bit of different, um, just to get someone from the outside, you know, someone that doesn't know everything that I'm trying to do. So, um, that we got that this camp like usual and, and everything's just going really well. Just, it's been a long camp, um, a lot longer than the first camp. So everything's going good, you know, with a long camp, I try not to do too much in the beginning just because I feel like if it's too long, then, you know, you're just dying by the end of it. So um, we eased into it, but we did everything we needed to do, and I feel really good. I was going to say, how do you normally, like, pick out uh, for a training camp? I know the last time you said, right, that six weeks was absolutely perfect for you. Is it as easy as saying, okay, we have the fight date just six weeks beforehand, we're going to keep doing this, or does it become a – all right, well, we had the date for so long. Let's try to ease our way in and kind of ramp things up as it goes. Like, how do you exactly pick exactly how you're going to do a training camp? So my for the fight with Jessica um, Penny, I only got, like, they called us on six weeks. So we just did what we had time to do in that time. Uh, this time we had uh, almost double that, like about 12 weeks. So uh, we planned everything in the beginning like we always do, but – you know, I'm not going crazy, crazy hard in the very beginning. You know, we, my coach Giuliano plans everything, you know, the hard stuff and then the lower kind of the pace of the the camp so that I'm peaking at the right time and not, you know, dying at the end. So everything is well planned over here. And um, yeah, with a long camp, I was a little worried, but everything turned out just fine. Um, it didn't drag out or anything. It actually went by really, really fast. So everything's good. <laughs> All right, so now let's talk about your opponent a little bit in Angela Hill here. Uh, obviously, uh, she's very well known throughout the UFC. She loves to fight. She seems like for a while there she was fighting just about every other week, it seemed like. She was very, very active about a year or two ago there. Uh, I know not as active as late, but anyway, just I'm sure there's a lot of film to study on her and whatnot. Just what have you seen out of her so far as an opponent? Yeah, she definitely likes to fight. She definitely stays active. Um, in my opinion, she is a good striker that's where she wants to be very high volume high uh, output so um i expect a very fast paced fight um she's been mixing it up more recently you know she was getting tired i think of the wrestling so she started to mix in her own so i think she is changed in the last few years um mixing it up a little bit more than just her striking her usual striking so i expect to go everywhere and i expect a fast high volume fight and i know you're saying you're expecting a fast a high volume fight i was actually going to ask you do you think that she's going to come out and maybe try to even possibly like blitz at you there come right out of the gates real hot there because uh obviously her record as of late she's lost 
three of four. I know she was able to snap the losing streak in her last fight, but a lot of times when things start going that way for a fighter, they'll come out and try to make a quick statement. Do you think that that is a possibility? Are you preparing for something like that? Or do you think it's going to be this typical, like you said, high, you know, high volume, a lot of fast paced stuff? Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if she came out hot right off the bat, but um, I think she'll settle into a, just a fast, her normal fast paced fight. Uh, but I definitely expect explosive moments from her. Um, and then just into her regular, you know, she's been striking for a long time. So she just has like, the pace that she keeps in, in the majority of her fights. So, but I do expect um, some explosive moments from her and I wouldn't be surprised if that was right off the bat in the first round. All right. So now let's start looking ahead a little bit here, this matchup, right? Number 12 versus number 13. Do you look ahead and think like if you get a win that maybe a top 10 opponent is next, or is that what the hope is? Or do you not pay any attention to that whatsoever? You're just focused on getting a win here on December 3rd. Yeah, I like to focus one fight at a time. So I'm currently just thinking about this fight. But obviously, uh, general long term goals would be to climb up the ranks. Um, slowly, I'm in no rush. I'm still young. still got plenty of time. And I kind of want to see how the division shakes out who gets matched up. Um, that's always fun for me to see. Um, so I just it just slowly but yes, the goal is to definitely climb up the ranks. And speaking of the UFC strawweight division, I do want to get your thoughts from uh, over this past weekend where uh, Wei Li Zhang just won her title back against Carla Esparza. Just uh, the thoughts on that fight and how that all played out. Yeah, it played out a little differently than I thought. I thought that Wei Li would be um, a little bit more striking heavy, try to land a little bit more because Carla sometimes takes a lot of damage in her fights striking wise. But um, yeah, she got this submission. That was a little surprising, but I did think she was going to be able to dictate where the fight went. Uh, she's just so physically strong. So even with Carlos wrestling, I think Willie would have been able to dictate standing or on the ground and look like she wanted to play on the ground. I think she wanted to prove her point, you know, Hey, Carlos, a wrestler, a grappler. I think I'm going to show that I'm better there. And she got the finish and it was impressive. And, and I think, that shakes up the division because she's already fought, you know, Rose twice and some of these other people. So I'm curious and there are a few new matches for her. So I always like to see new fights, you know, rematches are cool sometimes, but I like to see new people. So there's plenty of new options for her to fight and I'm excited to see how it shakes out. That is going to be a good thing too, because it seems like for the past few years, it's been the same, like three or so, uh, you know, always in the mix, which like you said, it could be good. There's been a lot of entertaining fights in the division over the years, but it'd be nice to see some, some new faces come through here. There's been a lot of girls that have been kind of, you know, standing behind waiting for their opportunities. So they should be able to get one now. But uh, one other thing before we wrap things up here today, I want to get your thoughts on, obviously before you were in the UFC, you were able to capture the Invicta title. At the time we're doing this interview, it's like, a, you know, any second out Invicta is going to be starting up their whole tournament uh, to crown a new champion. Just the thoughts on that. I thought that was pretty interesting that that promotion felt to go that direction. I, you know, it's rare to see somebody sometimes fight two to three times in a year. Never mind getting, there's going to be two fights now in a night to win the tournament. It's a pretty interesting thing. Right. Shannon, I think... Uh likes the tournament style because you've seen her do that several times in the divisions um, a little bit differently. I think this one is a little different because Denver allows you to do a certain amount of rounds or whatever. So they're fighting like a lot of rounds tonight. <laughs> it's going to be impressive, but yeah, I like the tournament style. And I think that it's cool because not everybody wants to do that. So like these girls are really stepping it up and uh, knowing that they had, they didn't know who they were going to fight until today or yesterday. And, you know, they knew that they had the possibility of, of fighting six rounds if they went the decision, both fights. So um, however many rounds it is. But, yeah, it's going to be cool. I like it. I think that uh, anyone that does tournament style is, is tough. And I'm excited to see um, who wins it. There are some good girls, uh, three Brazilians <laughs> on that tournament. And so I've, I've watched, you know, pretty much everybody in Invicta and – Tina Black really stood out in her last performance. So I think that she's she's going to come out with some heat today. All right. Thanks again for all the time here. Last thing before you roll out, uh, social media, so people know where to follow you at. You have any uh, management or sponsors, anything like that you got to give shout outs to? Floor is yours. Take it away. 
everything is pretty much on my Instagram. So catch up with me there. I post all my sponsors and uh, gym stuff and uh, management there. So mdakoti1 on Instagram and you'll be caught up. All right, Emily, thanks again so much for all the time. It was great catching up with you. Again, for all the fans out there, I just want to remind everybody again, Emily and Angela Hill will be fighting at UFC Orlando. That fight date is December 3rd. So make sure you guys check out the fight. Make sure you guys are checking out mymmanews.com for all of our great stuff. Make sure to go to our social media pages. Give us a like and a follow on there. And just one last thing before I head out, just want to remind you guys, like I always do, if you like today's interview, make sure to go to the bottom, give it a thumbs up, and make sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel if you haven't done so already. We'll see you later, everybody.